Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the curbside collection carts and I've got tons of tips to share with you. First, we're going to start with cart placement. Here we have an example of poorly placed carts. The green cart is crooked and they are way too close together. When placing your cart at the curb, make sure to line up the wheels with the curb and ensure that your cart is pointing towards the street. It's important to make sure you aren't blocking any sidewalks, roads, or bike lanes. Also, these two carts are way too close together. It is important to make sure that there is at least one meter of space around each cart. Similarly, it is important that there is at least three meters of clearance above the cart for the arm to grab, lift, and empty it. Now that we've discussed how to place the cart, let's talk about the materials inside. It is important that the lid is completely shut. If your cart is overflowing with recycling, it'll make a huge mess when the drivers are trying to collect it. Also, if you compact the materials in your cart too much, they won't be able to be completely collected. There will still be materials compacted at the bottom of your cart. If you need to save space in your cart, try crushing containers and boxes. Remember, there are no blue bags allowed in your cart. I hope you learned something new today. If you have any further questions, you can always check out abbotsford.ca slash waste. And be sure to download the Curbside Collection app so you have easy access to your schedule and the Waste Wizard. Thanks for watching. Bye.